ready to go live. Starting your event. Event is starting. Says it's live. Intro rolling. Cue the intro. And now, without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the Queen of Color, the Mother of Artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning, master acrylic artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylic. say <laughs> being possessed all right ginger i think we're on i have not a clue i don't know all the everything over here is muted and yet i'm hearing my voice come through the system we're because you're talking <laughs> hello hi everybody this is Ginger. i hope you can see me and hear me I hope, hope you can do something more than we did last night, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we are excited today. We're going to paint the most beautiful yellow flower, kind of a more of a loose style for some of you guys. We're going to just kind of talk about how to, you know, paint loose and free and fun. And we're going to have our basic, back to basic little fast art sketch lesson. We're going to do that right at the beginning of the video. So, you know, if you're watching this later and you don't want to know how to draw anything, then just, just do that. But, <laughs> you know, that's okay. We won't take it personally. We won't take it personally, but uh, this is, you know, we're going to be doing that. Um, the, I want to just welcome everybody to our channel. Wait a channel. minute. Wait a minute. Same sound problem. Whose sound problems are? Ginger there? Mike is not on. I just get this great speech and I'm not on. Same thing as last night. Yeah, we just tested it in the other room. I wonder if these rooms are no good. Because I'm working, you're working, I can hear you in my ears. Same problem. Turn Jack, her mic is on, kids. <laughs> She's going to sign the entire language. The whole, the whole lesson will be signed. Hold up there. I don't get it. I don't get it. Because we just mic? did the test. Give me your mic. I'm going to see if this one will work for you. This is so crazy. We can see the test. Blah, blah, blah. She doesn't hear me. Love to sell. Order new microphones. I don't know what the problem is. It worked in the other room. Okay, you want to try that? Is that turned on? No, it's not turned on. Oh. Let me put my ears. All right, going to turn that one off. All right, talk now. All right, how about this? Can you hear me now? All right, well, we get it, Mike. So we sound like an ad for. Um, now you sound a little bit more distant, but I mean, you can, you should be able to hear you. Can I hear you? Can, 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 can I hear you? <laughs> yes, honey, you can hear them absolutely. They're all shouting over here. Look, look at what they're saying. I can't hear you either. This is terrible. What will we do? You're waving. I saw you just wave. I'm waving. Oh, now you waved again. I waved again. You're not as good as usual. Job. No, it's not as good as usual because it's not working. Same so as before, same as before. What? John, I can hear her. Nope. Still sounds like she's muted. Talk some more, Ginger. I'm going to talk some more. I'm going to just grab this microphone and yell at you. Can you hear me now? Look at this. I say, old boy. Can you hear me now? <laughs> so what I need to do is hang that microphone around your, ma around your neck. Hmm. No, don't go crazy. I didn't design it for that. <laughs> Can I hang it from down up here, like over this thing right Yeah, here? well, no, actually, take it down from there. <laughs> if it works. Does it work? Testing. One, no, they they say they can't hear that mic either. Well, huh, then you wouldn't really hear me swear. Swear either. <laughs> I'm just going to just send out a bunch of experiences and... Very adult language here in a second. Well, there must be something wrong with the cords from here to here. No. No, there can't be because I'm hearing it all the way through this box, so it's not getting from the box into the 
computer right. So I can't believe I couldn't hear you with that other mic. Whatever you did last night, make it come back. Well, that was both microphones on. All right. How's this? Would, mm, How's this? <laughs> so if I have this, so it's like one of those uh, wrestlers. Remember those wrestlers? Oh, yeah. That would be the case. Yeah. All right, you guys, how's that? Like a if you can't hear me, I'll just hypnotize you. <laughs> you are getting sleepy. <laughs> You are going to be a great <laughs> artist. Watch the pendulum. Follow it with your uh, eyes. Great artist. I hypnotize you. I make you a great artist. People say, what happened? I'm a great artist. Hey, wait, wait, wait. We have an important announcement. What? Ginger looks so young and pretty today, she needs to put her hair back more often. Oh, well, thank you. That's a Catherine Ross look. Thank you. Thank change you, seats. You. Oh, they want me to paint. They want us to change seats. Huh. Well, all right. Can they hear us now? Because I no. like this hypnotic. Sounds I a like little this. tinny. Could be the mic is against her. The sound is low. Try switching mics. We did switch mics. We switched mics. All right. We, we want to know now. Can you get by? Because otherwise, we either can just cancel the show and not do it, or we can do we go on like this. Can you hear it well enough to get the lesson? Because otherwise, we can just skip the whole thing. Wait, we have one more microphone. Possibly, I can pick it up off of the camera. Well, we did the camera last night. Okay. Let me turn the camera on. Okay. Try that one. All right. All right. Try Here. this. Okay, her camera's can you, can on you hear, the, Can you hear us now? Oh, they just want me to repeat what you're saying. That will work. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Are you doing the hands? Yes, I'm doing the... you got to do your hands. Can, can you hear me now? <laughs> now? So, so now it's like that? that? Can, how about this? Is this good? <laughs> I can hear well enough. Uh, wait. Is it plugged? Yes, plugged in all the way. Ginger is perfect. Yes, 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 yes. We're just going to take it off the mic. Okay. We well, can like with that other microphone. I've been, yeah, we're doing a panel. I'm hypnotizing everyone so that they'll all become great artists. I think we should. Oh, where's that chain? I want that chain. Give me that. No, you, you just, just can't, can't grab things off the, the pole. pole. <laughs> I just want that. I think this is a great idea. We really, everybody wants to get better, right? So, um, here, we go. here we go. See, this is this is perfect. We're going to start off with this, right? So, f follow you this. Good. You, you follow this, man. We're going to, we're all going to become great artists today. Woohoo! Yes. I'm, I'm just so focused on being a good artist. There we go. All right. Sound test is over. Ha! Okay, so, those of you who were wondering what nifty t-shirt I'm wearing today, because this is one of my new ones, I'm going to stand up a bit. Wait till you see the whole thing. This is so cute, all right? Can you see this? Look at that with the art palette. Is that cute? How cute is that? Love this t-shirt. So, had to show, had to share, had to share. All right, so, we're going to talk about, real quick, oh, thank you for coming, thank you for being patient. We want to talk real quick, let's get our 10 minute, 5 second drawing lesson thing out of the way. Because we said we'd do that every show in the future. That's so we'll all improve drawing. Now we've got a good, one of our moderators, Tanya, is a good friend. And uh, she sent me in a picture. And I realized that we still need some basics on houses. So here's our chalkboard. Now, look at this chalkboard, you guys. Let me pain already on myself. Look at this chalkboard. Can you see, are we back down to the table here, John? No. Nope. No. Well, you can't see the chalkboard. Let me hold it up. Look at our chalkboard. How perfect is this? John cleaned it. You guys have been watching this chalkboard. It's like a four-year-old chalkboard. It was very sad, and we used our, honestly, God, they don't pay me to say this, but John cleaned it with our little tub of towels. We now decided this is just the towel to howl around the house, because he got it back to looking new. I mean, that's amazing. Are we down on the board now, Ready? John? It's still <laughs> echoing, even with mine off. Let me see the microphones are on. Are we still screwing around here? Can you hear me with the... with the? Yeah, they can hear you, but we're still echoing from something. Well, you work it out, and I'm going to work out it. You work out, Everything I'm going to work turned out. off. Who's turned off? Okay, I'm going to turn my this board completely off. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, tell them to let us know if you still echo. 
Let me know if we. I still echo. John did some other weird thing. I just turned everything off. He turned everything off. What is it? Except that, what do you think? Except the microphone that you're using. What do you think? All right. I got your blackboard. All right. So we they got the blackboard. So look, this is for Tanya. Okay, but you guys could enjoy this too, right? So, well, actually, we have Tanya, and then we have somebody else we got to say something to. I forget. Who was that? Um, it'll, it'll, well, they'll know who they are. <laughs> Just, all right. But see, all right, now we're going to start. We have a little house here. So we're going to start off with the letter A without the cross piece. That's the cross piece, but here's our letter A, okay? Now we're going to start off with two straight lines, two I's, okay? Now, here's the tricky part. This is the sides of your canvas. So if you're having a house looking right at you, these lines here have to be parallel to the sides of your canvas. This is really important, because they have to match this angle, okay? So now, how long your house, how big your house is, is kind of, you know, determined by this line here. And this line here, if the house is looking straight at us, okay, has to be parallel to the top, the top and bottom, okay? This is real important. So then, you're going to say, well, then what about, this is where everybody kind of loses it, too. This line here, this one here, and this one here are twins. They're at the same angle, okay? But then the top line of the roof is then matches this one. And then this line here matches these two. Now, what about the windows? I mean, this is real basic, and I'm sorry, but I think... You know, if I didn't see it in someone's picture, I would think everybody knew it, but it's okay if you don't, because you'll you'll never forget this. All right, so we're going to put a window here, so we're going to draw a box. Now, again, the bottom of the box and the top of the box have to be match this line, and the sides have to match this line. And if you add shutters, nothing changes, okay? And if you add a door, nothing changes, Okay? This is, side, this is like that. Now, what if you had a window over here? Well, that's going to be a little slightly different, you know, because you don't, usually when you're doing a house, you're doing something like this, so you don't have to talk about the bottom of it, right? You're just saying it, right? But this line here, it depends. This line really depends on where your horizon line is. So if we're saying, if our horizon line is up here like this, right? Horizon line is up here like this then the bottom of this window would go up like this. Just It would be just some sort of vanishing point off on a horizon line like that, okay? But usually, even if you get it pretty straight across, you're not too off. You'll be okay, right? But these lines, what will really make you look whacked is if you, if you have your lines doing like this, you can't have that. These, the sides of this really have to be parallel, right? And then if we put a vanishing point, say, down here, you know, this is our horizon line, sky, or ocean, you know, ocean and, and, and you, right? So then somewhere off of here is a vanishing point. These lines here kind of go down like that, okay? Like that, kind of. They're going to do, they're going to do that. But the sides, the important thing is that these side things have to be straight up and down. Make sense? Now, the other question that came up recently was, we had an umbrella. And uh, you guys have seen that uh, video, this umbrella in the rain, right? And, and it's got some flower pots. You guys remember it's on YouTube, this little video I did? So somebody said, how do I make it look like rain? Well, rain's falling straight down, okay? So if you're using mixing white, for instance, and you've got some lines going off at a distance, unless all the rain's doing this, maybe you're going to say that that's, um, you know, some sort of a storm. But the way the painting was done, okay, we're talking about you've got a few little highlights and then you can put some rain off the edges. In other words, you don't just don't stop it there, bring it down a little bit. See what I mean? Bring it down like that. So that's what I meant when I, she said, what do you mean off the edges? I thought that was pretty clear, but apparently it wasn't. So there's your umbrella. But um, anyway, that's what we're talking about, the rain. Your brush, this all, comes all down to brush direction. Uh, generally speaking, if you're doing grass, all the grass isn't doing this. Okay? Some might be doing this. There might be some different heights to it, different colors. Think about your brush direction. And then the last thing, because this comes up with, I think this was from Nicole. She did this really nice painting of, um, uh, of some snow. And then we're going to talk about brush direction again, right? 
she did some really nice painting of some snow and she had a road like this, okay, at the bottom of her canvas, okay? So, it kind of went like this. So, if you make all your brush strokes going up and down, okay, it looks like it's a giant hill. But if you level out your brush strokes, where's some blue here? There's some blue chalk here. If you level out your brush strokes like this, if you change this direction like this, now suddenly you've got you've got a hill but it's flat at the bottom. The direction of your brush strokes really say what something's happening. It isn't just painting it in. We talk about this a lot and um, I just want to mention that because um, I think one thing about the, you know, using the tub of towels to clean off the chalkboard, John, is that um, we have less, um, it doesn't wipe as well anymore. Just saying, right? Well, I didn't wash it after I did it. He didn't wash it after he did it. Well, that's, that's fair, okay? But that he is. Tried a, it to see what it would do. Yeah, he just wanted to see what it would do, so we can do that. So, anyway, so real quick, are there any questions on this before we go on to the painting? They want to know where you got your red splash. All right, is this not cool or what? Is that not just neat? I found this on weird oh, things on Amazon. And I thought it was cute and it could hold like a paintbrush and you could put a little water there. It was kind of cute. I just thought it was cute. It's such a novelty item because Ginger gets... Here we go. Sorry, we're going to wipe all that off. See if that helps. Maybe it did. Who knows? Probably would, wouldn't hurt to have a clean rag, but you can't have everything, right? All right, so we'll put the chalkboard down. Today we're going to be painting these flowers. We're going to just take a... Um, we're going to have a very loose, multicolored background. We're going to just kind of draw in these flowers here pretty easily. Now, my painting's larger. So uh, basically, and, and my don't my the center of my flower is sort of um, I hate to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Well, I'll show you with this. The center of my flower here's the here's probably the middle of this, right? So the center of my flower is just slightly off here. Okay, so when you're doing this on whatever size canvas, you know if this is the, the center of your canvas, right, like this, probably right closer to this, the center of the flower is here. So we're going to bring a, a leaf kind of down like this, kind of one over here, like that, and then cross over. This is almost heart shape, like this, okay? And then um, we've got another kind of curved little leaf, little petal like this, and then I've got another short one here, and then in this case we have a um, kind of a bud that's coming up this way, so I think I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm going to change this leaf. I don't like it on that one. We're going to change this leaf kind of like this. Alright, so now this is basically a very simple um, very simple flower. Okay, And the reason we started off with yellow is it's yellow paints really well over white, so that's kind of how we're drawing that's how we're drawing it in. This is a really easy one to do. There might be another little bud coming up this way, like that on this one. All right. But um, okay, so that's that's how we're going to paint it. The colors we're going to use. Isn't this cute? This is a little. Somebody got John got this me for Christmas. This little funny little character with the paintbrush. Good for little kids. All right. So now we're going to put out uh, yellow oxide, yellow dazzling purple, ultramarine blue. Thalo blue, white, magenta, and cad red medium. This will be really fun. We'll have a good time painting this in. <coughs> I hope that was a good question. Came in. I don't think they can hear me because I don't have any microphones over here. Yeah. So I'm not sure. They can hear <coughs> but the question is, uh, Ginger, where do you find your old dead guys? That's from Miss Bank. Uh, yes, Banks, you know, we kind of, uh, we have something that we call sort of proprietary knowledge. We don't let everybody know where we find everything, but the best place, the best place to start is Google artists under, um, that painted before 1900. That's a good place to start. Okay, how's that? Um, that's the closest I can tell you to how we find these things, because it took me a lot of years to figure out where to find all these things, and we're happy to, uh, um, once you know the name, of course, you can Google the artist. And honestly, there's some, you know, I, people send me artists I've never heard of, too. I mean, there's a, quite a bit of work in finding these artists. And, um, but you can start with that, I would say. Start with that. Any other questions, John? Uh, not at this time. They can hear me. 
hear me well enough if I talk up. <laughs> All right. But now in the background, Ginger was earlier. Yeah, well, we're using her mic over on her side instead of my mic that's in front of me and the one hanging. Well, we don't understand why the mics aren't working. It's just, do you know why the computer wasn't working last night? Because those, these lovely people that, um... Like to do updates. <coughs> did updates. And didn't tell us <coughs> that all these programs, we didn't have the updates, nothing played. Ah, we have a little water here. All right, so now, cad yellow medium, we've got, now we want cad red medium, and uh, we want magenta, okay? And everybody will be happy, yes? yes happy? And yes. yes and yes? Yes and yes, huh? Well, I'm glad we're doing it. You know, this is a fun painting to do, and it's nice to start with the yellow. Um, I hope you, you know, this is a pretty, very simple thing to draw in. I think I think you'll find that that's really true. It's very simple to draw in and it's very loose. Now if you like this type <coughs> of flower painting, we have a lot of different flowers. This is one of our most successful flowers on uh, Oh, just rock the world over there. Sorry. <laughs> on, uh, on, on, on YouTube, this was one of our most successful lessons. You know, Alright? When, when you're going to bring up a big one, I've got to do things over here. You know? I'm bringing up a big one. Do you want to do something? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, see, there's this one is really, uh, really, really one of the most successful. It's such an easy painting to do and really interesting, kind of a wet on wet technique. If you haven't tried this one, and that's a YouTube lesson. Um, this is one of our Academy lessons. I love this painting, and this is one of our lessons over there in our Art, art Academy. So Academy of Fine Art, Ginger Cook Live Gallery. We have over 300 lessons. Someone asked the other day, it was a very odd question, if I sign up, do I just get one lesson a week? No. You have, a, you have over 300 lessons, and we add new ones every week. So it just keeps... Uh, we have always more lessons than you could possibly have time to do. But So pick the ones that you know resonate with you, right? So, there, Ooh, there. I like that. Resonate. Yeah. So then um, this, is a, this is a really fun tulip lesson we put on, um, on YouTube, and it's got this interesting textured background. This is a very fun one. That's on YouTube if you haven't done that one. And again, this was one... We did on our website an abstract rose, which I really like. And I'll tell you what, Eric did this huge, and it was gorgeous. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is really stunning, big. And it's almost like doing a puzzle, all these colors. And again, we're playing against the warm and cool. You see that? The or orange and turquoise are complements. So that when you put those colors together, it <laughs> makes a huge difference. What? What's funny? Uh, Debbie Simpson is at work. She goes, not not to cause a trouble here, but I can't hear Ginger at work. I can't hear a word Ginger saying. I'm at work, no speakers. Can Ginger do the sign language again? <laughs> of course she'll be happy to. Yeah. So here's this this is another one we have on YouTube. This is a really pretty lesson. Isn't that kind of a another one on glazing? This is how you get all these colors you glaze. So again, a similar kind of flower, but um yes, similar kind of flower, but we're um done differently. So a lot of different ways to do it and also here's a hibiscus that's also on YouTube. It's another one you could do. So if you like the more traditional look so we're gonna, this is our more abstract look that we're doing today. So I just wanted you to know that if you, we actually have a playlist about called flowers, you know, I mean how to paint flowers, ginger cook, and so all those would be on the playlist that that you would want to find. Alright. I want to know how the background was done. The background is painted two parts titanium white and one part cad medium yellow. All right, two parts titanium white, one part cad medium yellow. Being a sock folder, I actually... You remembered how he painted it. Good I for you, John. It. That's great. All right, so now I think we'll work on the flower first, all right? So let's take a little bit of, um, of white and a yellow, okay? And... Um, I think I want this, uh, let's see, a little more white here. I think I want this a little bit lighter here on this part of the petal, right like that. There's some white highlights. I think I'll just put some, it's kind of a light yellow color. We'll put some of that in. And um, as long as we're doing that, I'll put one on this, the kind of the top of this um, petal here too, just the top here, okay? And uh, let's see where else, maybe here. Okay, so that sort of gives me some highlights to work with. Um, oh, let's see, what else? Oh, all right, let's take a little bit of cad red medium and a tiny bit of yellow and make, well, mostly yellow with a little bit of cad red medium, like that. 
and um, a little bit more yellow to that. Can you, do you have the palette there, John? Yeah. Okay, a little bit more yellow. And I want to come in out of the center here, like this, and I want to kind of uh, put a little darker center here, like this, and just kind of use, just kind of bring it up like that. Okay, and uh, maybe right here too, just a little bit right here. Hey, we'd like to make this. Brooke for the donation. Oh, Miss Brooks, thank you so much. We really appreciate this, you guys. If she wants to know where do we send donations, they go all to you. We send to, That'd you, be on our website. On our website, you, the donations always go to us under what? Donations. Under donations on the homepage, and I think uh, the admin should throw up a link there shortly. All right, so I'm going to take some yellow and white now, and, and now I'm going to paint this right here. Do you see that? Now I've got this line, and this is wet, so I'm going to use the back of my brush and just sort of scribble out the line. Do you see what I just did? So this blends into that. Do you see? See how I've got a little bit more color now on this this petal, right, like this, and I blended out that color. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll come over here like this, and then use the back of the brush, and then right over the seam, try to erase that seam, and you can see how we're blending that out. Kind of neat, right? Let's do the same thing over here on this one. Come up here with a little bit of yellow and white paint, right next to this, okay? Pinch the brush. Now the back of it, and just if this dried on you, add a little bit more of that other color. Use the back of the brush and just kind of wipe your brush and blend that out. Alright? I'm going to do that. Wipe that brush and blend that out. And let's make this a little bit darker right here too. A little bit of yellow up here. Wipe the brush, back of it, and just blend that out. Okay? And of course I'm going over blue chalk so I'm turning things green. Blue chalk was, was good so you could see it, but probably not the best best to use because your chalk is, when you use a colored chalk, it's going to mix your colors just like if it was paint. So white chalk is usually a little more effective. Alright, so I like that. So let's make this a little bit darker here, like here on this petal. And right here in the corner, I want this a little bit darker. It's even a little bit more red. I'm going to play with that a little bit. Okay, and then we'll come around. Now wet the brush. And what I want to do here that's a little different is I'm going to just with a wet angle brush, I'm just kind of making a few little spikes here. Lift up the brush like that. And then just blend that out. Just a damp brush will help you too. Sometimes you can blend something out a little bit with a damp brush. We're getting these colors in here. Let's get some cad yellow medium. Come up here on this petal right here. See it's a little bit darker. Now I'm going to use the back of the brush kind of blend that out. Maybe a little bit of white with that here. Wipe. I've got quite a bit of paint on there and just kind of like you're mopping a floor, just mop up the excess and kind of blend that out a bit like that. I'm going to come over here with a little bit of yellow. This is just cad yellow medium and put that in here like that on this side. Um, so I, I would say we're pretty we're in pretty good shape here. Maybe we want this a little bit lighter here. As we get the background, you'll be able to tell what you need to lighten and darken because it's kind of hard to tell in here. So, so we're going to switch we're going to switch now and work on the background. So let's take um, more white paint, mm, which is where <coughs> somewhere. So it's so funny, I was calling my friend, uh, one of our moderators, Liz, I was call I'm talking to her on the phone today, and she and I were talking about, um, a, a, one of my paintings, she says, where did that painting come from? It's a French village scene of all these little French villages in La Bastide. Well, about, right after 9-11, Cinnamon and I, my daughter Cinnamon and I, we went to uh, France for a month. I rented a house from this, well, it was a house, it was a hotel. I rented this giant 27 bedroom hotel from these American artists. Uh, they were writers. She wrote, she was a writer and he wrote for something. And, and we rented, uh, well, basically we rented the whole thing, but we had use of two rooms, the bathroom, you know, each a bathroom, the living room, the laundry room down in the basement, and the kitchen, and this sort of great room with a big fireplace. I mean, the rest of it was sort of shut down, but they had bought this old, old, I mean this was place, Cinnamon swears it was haunted, this old, old, um, way up in the mountains there of France, in the Black Mountains of France, in the town called um, La Bastide, is where we, um, La Bastide Esperance is where the technical name for it. So that's where we rented this house. And um, when we got to France, 
Uh, Cinnamon said she could. We would go if she could call John every day. That was the deal. She could call. She would go with me and stuff. But she wanted to be able to call John every day. So I said, fine, you can do that. Um, putting a little tiny bit of cad red in that blue to not knock it back. Gray it a little tiny bit. Okay, a little bit of a gray blue. And we're going to come on up here here now in this around our flower. Add some color to get a little bit more white. So anyway, I just figured I'd tell you a story. So we're, we go to France and we we fly into Paris and then we take another plane into Toulouse and then from Toulouse we rent a car and um, it's about three and a half hours to where we were going. We had a map. This is before GPS, you know. We had a map and uh, in French, of course, so it's very helpful. And um, but and as we were driving, as we, the closer we got to our destination, all right. The um, the narrower the road got. At some point, I was thinking, "Gosh, are we on a driveway? Is this a real street? I mean, are we on somebody's driveway? Are you sure this is right?" And we're looking at the map, going, "I don't know." So we're climbing a mountain, climbing up this mountain, and we're on this driveway. And then I'm trying to remember back from my days of early driving in Seattle, who has the right of way on a hill? Is a person going uphill or downhill? Because this is a really narrow road. Another car is coming down. I can't remember if they have to stop or I have to. But I, then I decided if they didn't stop, I'd better. How's that? You know, that's that was the, how I solved that. So I put a little bit of yellow with the with the phthalo blue and make a little bit of a turquoise color, and add to that. See, so we're changing the background, just going back and forth, kind of scribbling it in. Um, a little bit of white, phthalo blue, tiny bit of yellow, make this sort of teal color. And it just we're not going all the way to the edge. We're leaving some of this background here like that. I put some of this teal color. I don't know. Maybe over here, that's pretty. Well, that's not the teal color. Let's make that. So anyway, we were, um, so we, we settled in and we got there about 11 o'clock at night. By the time we finally got the place. And it, there was a key, something under a, so they left us a key under the a rock or something to get into this place. And um, it was uh, dark by the time we got there. It was a challenge. So we got in and we're just sort of settling in. And figuring that let, let's, at least there was electricity and stuff. So we, we get up there and um, starting to unpack and, and just kind of relax a little bit. And there's this knock on the door. It's about almost about midnight now. There's an, I'm not, we're still on America's time and we're not asleep or sleepy or anything. So we're kind of up and wired. And um, so anyway, you can see how we've got a pale green over here. So there's this knock on the door. And so we answer the door and there's this, uh, there's this French guy there. Obviously, he was a French guy. Who else, right? Some some French person, and he has this cake in his arms. It's kind of a sad-looking chocolate cake. I mean, it really was um, looked like maybe kid, kid had made it. But he said in his English, pretty good English too. He said, you know, welcome to the neighborhood. This was a very small little town up there. You know, just a, everybody knew everybody. It had been practically born there. It was a thing. He says, welcome to the neighborhood. One of the things we like to do is welcome guests with a cake. And we're thinking. Isn't that nice? None of us <laughs> just none of us think it's odd that some stranger's showing up. He saw us pull up, quick made a cake and came over, right? Saw it, got a load of cinnamon and decided she was the bomb and decided to go, you know. So we didn't realize that this this he was so nice to us, right? And we were so pleased that he was being so helpful, okay? And um you know, guys would be immediately suspicious, but you know, we're just going, isn't that nice, you know? And um so then, uh, I think um, we were trying to figure out our way around town, and we really were still trying to find places to paint and stuff. And so he offered to drive us around for a few days to let us understand, kind of over the back roads and hills. He was very helpful and found us pl you know, places where we could photograph things to paint because we had brought our computers and printers, and so we didn't paint on location. Basically what we did was um, painted... Um, in, inside this really nice big room with the fireplace and you know uh, printed out the pictures that we were going to print on, on the computer. There were no iPads in those days or any of that stuff but you know so this was like you know 9-11-2000 you know. So anyway uh, it you know we got to know the people in the village. We got invited to you know to dinner at people's houses. We got to know a lot of people. Everybody was really nice. Loved the fact that there were some artists that moved in. I'm changing colors now. I'm using a little bit of magenta and um, white. I'm going to put some of that color in here, like this. Not too Would much. you consider this a modeled 
background. Yeah, sort of, yeah, it is kind of a model background. It's just different colors, and you know, however you want to do it, you just want to kind of, um, you know, bring in some purples. Maybe take a little dazzling purple here. So anyway, he he chopped some wood for us because the people that we rented it from didn't, you know, there was a fireplace and wood, but it was very hard. It was cold too. I mean, it was winter. This was, you know, fall. It was really cold, and uh, we were kind of. We would have been kind of in the lurch if he hadn't helped, okay? But the, you know, which is which was nice of him to help. But honestly, now I'm rinsing my brush here, and then I'm going to blend all this together. Um, it didn't occur to us that he was a, sort of a stalker. Wasn't sort of a stalker. He was a he was a stalker. He, Cinnamon thought the house was haunted, but he was actually breaking in the house. And I think he, you know, I mean, it was just kind of creepy. She was calling John every day and talked a lot about John. And so there was no doubt in anybody's mind, any of the neighbors, that, um, you know, Cinnamon and John were married in an item, and she had just come over there to help her mom and, you know, paint for the two of us. We were painting, right? So it was a very odd behavior on, um, we thought on his, you know, it was very odd, this sort of thing. And then he finally, he broke down, he wrote her a love letter. And that's when we went to the neighbors and said, listen, this has got to stop, right? And then we found out that uh, Oni bought her necklace, which she gave back to him. He was divorced, and we told him to spend it on his son or something. It was just weird. But, um, see, I'm getting in the colors. Well, anyway, that was the story. So we, um, uh, anyway, that was the story of our, our French stalker. But, well, did they let you know, did you eat the cake? Oh, yeah, we ate the cake, sure. We ate the cake. and uh, You don't have to good food. Yeah, and, and the man, you know, he was very nice, and it, it didn't come out till later that he, um, you know, had nefarious intentions. Ooh, nefarious. You like that word? You know, intentions. And the thing is that we'd gotten to be really good friends with this other couple in town that had kids Cinnamon's age, and they were my age, and they spoke English, and they, they had lived in their house since Napoleon, and, and the guy was retired, and one day Cinnamon and I had figured out how to drive around in the car and stuff, but... We went to try and find some pictures of the ocean. We really couldn't find the ocean. It was our map reading skills were just sad. And we, nobody found an ocean from where we were. And we'd gone out all day. And they just laughed and said, we'll take you. And so they, the, the, um, uh, Claude and Lily, and they took us on, on a on an one-week adventure. We paid for the gas, and we got into their car, and they drove us clear to Spain. And everywhere, Claude thought we should stop and look at... Um, Pictures that we took our photo. Wherever Claude said there was a photo opportunity, we took it, whether we thought there was one or not. You know, <laughs> what's a picture? Because we were so grateful, and we really had a good time. We made some lasting friends there, so that was really nice. And they, everybody was kind of related or cousins, and they knew this guy. And once we showed him the letter, you know, they had a little um, severe talk with this man, and he was probably in his late forties, and um, all that stopped. All that nonsense stopped right away but it was it was interesting because we we still laugh about the fact that that's hi i we just brought you some cake it's sort of a tradition here you know <laughs> he'd never cooked a cake in his life right because he's trying to think of a way to come over and say hi at 11 o'clock at night 12 o'clock at night all right do you see i'm kind of putting some colors down in here too but they're coming back maybe with a little light purple and, and again um play with this a little bit you know play with your colors you see i'm going around the palette doing this so one of the things that one of the adventures we had was the first day we got there, it started to snow. And you know, I lived in Aspen for a number of years, and when it starts to snow, this was early fall, you know, 9-11, whenever that was, September, um, it started to snow, but we were up at hot, pretty high altitude. And I'm thinking, man, we're going to get snowed in. I don't have any food in this house. We just had some tea, you know. And we got to get down to a grocery store. So that meant like an hour down the mountain to get to a grocery store. So we, I got cinnamon up. I said, we got to go. There's, we're going to have to get back here in case it really snows in. We've got to have some food in the house in case we're stuck up here for a while. So she agreed, and so we got in the car, and we zoomed down the mountain to the grocery store, found one in the town, on Carcassonne. And um, they had all their little carts were locked up. And you couldn't get a cart because it was locked up with some sort of French coin that none of us had, right? And we were trying to figure out how could we get a French coin. How can we get a French coin? Can we offer somebody five bucks for their cart? You know, <laughs> just how are we going to get that? So eventually, we managed to get a French coin, and we had it in. That coin was just for the grocery store. No one was allowed to spend it. And we had it just there for that. That purpose alone. What brush are you using? I'm just using a 3 8 inch angle. Okay. Ruby satin silver? Ruby satin silver brush. Now listen, we have gotten 
some uh, some of the best uh, brushes um, with through the silver brush company and these angle brushes you'll find me using a lot see I'm coming back here just adding a few more colors to my uh, picture to see is that in is that interesting how you sort of layer all these colors on and um, so anyway um, we we really I, I like to tell people about the brush guys because they're a company they just sell brushes and they deliver they ship all over the world I think they have one flat shipping fee and we've had our friends in Europe say it's actually less money to order brushes from the brush guys in the states and make this a little darker right here than it is to um, to buy it you know locally buy them locally okay now here's a little white on the brush see that now you see me wiping the brush all the time so um, there we go but some of my best uh, paintings um, you know came from those trips to France that we took early on in the you know that year and the following year you know we got some great pictures Cinnamon's a really good photographer you may not know that she's a really really good photographer took a lot of nice pictures for me all right I'm going to lighten up some of this in here like this some of this magenta now we're going to do this next layer add some lighter colors maybe come over here that's had a chance to dry it almost has a watercolor look doesn't it when you do it this way don't you feel it almost feels like you're almost using watercolor because you're kind of blending all this stuff okay like that I'm just barely touching it now and almost dry brushing it over the top um, something around here that's pretty and again your yours may look different you may put the colors differently but that's you know that's a good thing you know all right so now uh, this has had a chance to do its thing I'm going to work a little bit on the uh, on these bud things and here's take a little bit of yellow tiny bit of phthalo blue I'm going to make a green here like this and I think probably the easiest thing to do is just paint the solid green and then we'll add you know the thing to do is that start with your darkest color first and then see, then see you know what I mean start with your darkest color first and then see okay like that so you, you want to start with that and then, then you can always go lighter and if you have to you can dry it so that was our adventure we went to Spain we um, Claude and Lillian we really had such a nice time and we were very grateful for the, to them and they had us over to their house and um, several times and we met their family and we got to know everybody in the neighborhood and the people were really nice it was a, just it was one of our happier memories and then some years later we um, oh no actually it was the next summer it wasn't some years later uh, uh, my friend Kathy Schuster and Simon and I we went back and we rented a different house we the, the house that there was the bed and breakfast the 27 room haunted bed and breakfast you know, was it haunted because our stalker was walking through the house? Hard to know. Cinnamon swore she heard something. She thought it was a ghost, but it probably was that guy, right? You know, she had to check her drawer to make sure that um, things weren't missing. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, um, we've rented another house up in the, uh, in the, further up the mountain, and it had a beautiful cabin with a stream, and it was just gorgeous. I'm just going in here with a little white now, you guys kind of straightening some of this out here like this. I guess I didn't get that blue down far enough or purple. Let's bring that down here like that. You see how easy this is to paint. Isn't it pretty? I mean, you're going to each, there's no two are going to be exactly the same. You're going to draw them a little bit differently, but you know, if you need to make a kind of an adjustment to something, you certainly can. Like you needed to come down here like this, maybe and adjust this petal. How long were that? you in France? We, we stayed a month one time and, all, and almost two months the second time and uh, and just drove around and painted and um, I got a kick out of cinnamon because uh, she was our navigator most of the time right and uh, the second time we went um, uh, with Kathy uh, with our friend Kathy Schuster the second time we went to, to France um, you know we we rented a much bigger car because there was more of us right and um, we're driving, we're hunting poppies, we're looking for poppies, so we're taking all these back roads, and we, we got into Italy, and we got into um, Switzerland, and we, we ended up, um, you know, really, we, we, we did the whole thing, we went you know, really nice, and we got some beautiful pictures, and I loved, I loved cinnamon, she says, um, um, 
when did they add some new countries to Europe? That was her comment. <laughs> when, said, what? when did they add some new countries? I don't think they've added anything new in a few years. Why, why do you ask? We, we didn't make it into Bulgaria or someplace. Where are we? <laughs> Just where are we? And she goes and said, let me see the map. Well, everything was in French. You know, the map was in French, so, but the, she didn't recognize the words. Then I said, no, we're in Switzerland. How did we get to Switzerland? <laughs> we're in Switzerland? Oh, good. This is where I went to boarding school in Switzerland when I was a kid. I'll show you where I went to school. So we, we ended up doing that. That was really fun. Okay, something like that. See, just adjust the flower a little bit. Sherry wants to know, did you take your paint canvas and brushes with you? Oh, yeah. Purchased them in France? Yes, of course. We took everything with us. And... Um, and painted over there, and it's some of the best you know. If you go to if you go to my old website, which I can't update because of the technology, when I did it, gingercookstudios.com, you can see all the pictures we did in France. I, I painted in France, you know, and, and they were all sold. And the, you know, I had a publisher and shows, and um, they needed to be done. So um, here I'm just at, you know kind of doing a little bit more here with my 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 flower. Now that I've got a little bit of um, you know, leeway here with this. I'm going to start adding a little bit more like that. So, okay, maybe I want a little bit of this yellow. Here's a little yellow oxide and something. Maybe I want a little bit of this down in here. It's kind of dry. Right? The blue's got to be dry. It'll turn, turn green on you. I'm going to just add a little bit of yellow down this way. And um, maybe up here a little bit. Barely touch it. Let's get some more blue up this way. Yeah, we, we did. We, we, you know, we got some great paintings. Uh, we got some great pictures. We really had a good time. Um, and, we'd, you know, we'd go back. It's just that everybody's busy, you know. But it was really, really some of, and I still, still use some of the paintings as re the photos for references of what we're doing now. You know, absolutely. Still use some of those photos for references. Okay, so now you can kind of see how we're doing that, how, how we're kind of uh, getting this background done. It's a little bit lighter. Now, I'm barely touching it now. I'm getting a few little lighter colors in here. Okay, like that. Maybe I'll just add some light ones down. Remember, you start with dark, go to light. Just put some of this pink up here. I didn't have any up there, but I think I'd like some coming off the top here. Maybe have less of this... Um, canvas showing than, than on this one. It's a little bit more pink and oh maybe purple. So anyway that was our trip to France. That was really fun. And uh, when when we were in the bed and breakfast that that one the the the, ho the the basement where the laundry room was was like out of a Stephen King novel. I mean it was scary. There's rickety stairs that was down there. The ceilings were low. It was the scariest basement I remember being in since I was a kid. I mean Cinnamon and I, Cinnamon and I would draw straws of who had to go down into the basement. Because neither one of us wanted to get the laundry and do it. You know what I mean? It's your turn to get the laundry. I don't want to go down there. You come with me? Yeah, okay. I mean I, I, it was so funny. I mean it was really, that, that basement was scary. And I couldn't tell you why. So um Okay, so there you go. We've got this done. You see kind of how we've got the light. Now we want to put some of these. Um, now this is what you do with a brush like this. You put the, you pinch it. Okay, this is why the angle brush is so good. And if you're having trouble using an angle brush, notice I have only paint on one side of it. Do you see that? So when I go up here with my um, uh, flowers, uh, little flower thingies, whatever they call these, stamen thingies, right? The white. I'm going to start here, the long point this way. If I make a mark and nothing happens, I'll get more paint. All right, so now I'm coming here like that and then lifting up, coming and lifting up. And each one I'll get more paint for. And if, again, if nothing happens, that's all right. Um, and what could you use? Um, if you're having trouble making thin lines, you can buy you think I own an art store, though I tell you to keep buying things. But really, you can buy some paint that's, um, uh, let's see if I've got it over here somewhere. Uh, where, where's our, look, here it is. This is made by Golden. You can get little tiny bottles of, of that, like this size. So you don't need a lot. This would last you a long, long time. You can get it in this size. And it's just fluid white paint, okay? 
So you shake it up. If you're having, if you're just not getting that great thin line you wanted, and I would tell you to get brown, like a couple of browns for tree limbs, and then maybe white for details. And I'll put a little over here. I want you to just see the difference. You have to shake it up, okay? Now here we go. Look at that. Do you see how, do you see how beautifully that draws in there? And uh, this is a, a, a wonderful. Um, wonderful tool, all right? And I might even take a little of that white and put it up there, pinch the brush, and just sort of work that in. You can use this along with your other paints, no problem. You can mix it, mix, mix and match, so to speak. No problem there, but it is a very nice uh, thing to do. So now, all right, so let's see. I think I need a little bit more yellow coming over the top of this, like right here. So I'm going to just dry brush that over. See that? Just barely touch it. There we go. Jeanette would like to know, would Ginger do another painting on aluminum panels? Um, we have one more set of aluminum panels. Did you guys like that? I don't mind doing it. It was weird. I, uh, it, you know, the thing, the hardest part for me was you can't get fingerprints on those things. You practically have to paint the thing in gloves. You know, that was the problem with that. All right, I'm going to use this and use a little bit of um, purple or magenta and cad red medium, right? And, all right, now I'm using just the edge of the brush and I'm going to push down on it like that. I'm going to, well, maybe I'll do it. Well, let's, let's take a little more purple. I want that a little darker. And then you want to, um, you want to add some that are not necessarily even connected to any of those nifty white lines you just did. Okay? You're, you're implying them, right? So here, here's this, and then they're all kind of curved this way. You see that? And I've got a little one right here, like that. I'm just going to make one up. So you don't have to have them. Um, you can put one right there. See? That implies, see, there they are. And that's kind of cool, right? Maybe I'll put one up here like that. All right, so there's my... Of the center of my flower. If I wanted to have it something a little bit darker here, let me just get a little bit of orange and yellow right like this. I might want this still darker here where these two separate, right? And um, maybe here too. Let's bring a little bit of dark right in here like that. Okay, that looks a little better. So that's pretty easy to do, right? Just now you see how nicely this blew up, didn't it? Blow up very nicely. It got, got bigger nicer and then another color you can buy if you just are in the mood to buy paint people always say well why can't I buy more colors well you know buy everything you want right I'm not saying you shouldn't I'm just saying you can get by with a lot less this is called um, Naples yellow light and it's a very very light color and it's a very light yellow if you're going to use it have a clean brush and uh, um, here let's just put that up there like that there look at that is that nice that's a very nice kind of a nice yellow highlight right there um, maybe just put a little bit over on that white. That's nice. Okay. And maybe I want a little bit right here on this this um, this little bud right here instead of white. A little bit of that Naples yellow. Okay. Is the fluid white as opaque as the heavy body stuff? It, it pretty much is. Uh, John, do you have one of those? Um, let's just do a test. Should we do a test? Mm, yeah. We have one of those little tiny canvases. We are going to give away something today. Maybe we'll uh, play with that. We are going to give away a painting today. We did last yesterday, for those of you who hung in there with us for our disaster of equipment, we painted this, and we're going to make this a lesson later on in the week. We'll actually show you how we painted it, because I just we were just playing with it, right? So we could adjust the camera. Yeah, brown's good. So anyway, we, so, but I will, so anyway, we gave, someone won this yesterday. Okay? Gretchen did. Gretchen won this and from in Florida, which was a good thing because I didn't think about it when I said I'd mail it to wherever. You know, these little ones we can mail anywhere pretty easy. You don't put it in an envelope. That one's a bigger deal to ship. But we would have shipped it since we said so. So anyway, that's a, this will be a lesson later in the week. We're thinking Friday, but can't be sure. But, you know, th what day is today? Today is Tuesday. All the, day. the 5th, 6th. Tuesday the 6th of February, in case you're watching this and wondering. So, oh, it's 2018. It's, yeah. 2018. This thing will be around forever. Yeah, so, all right, so there's this painting. I think this came out rather well. Do you guys like it? I hope you do, you know. So, does the um, fluids change color when they dry like the heavy bodies do? Yeah, everything. Acrylics do that. Sure. They all get, everything dries a little bit darker. 
but here let me just make a little bit of green here I'm not real fond of this little bit right here this one right here this got a little sorry I didn't see that you're gonna lighten this up right here just a hair the same thing here a little bit of light right there okay sorry just had to put a little of that brighter green somewhere a little color surprise there you go a little bit brighter green all right so that's that picture there I think that came out really well. You'll notice on this one I have it something darker right here. You see the difference? Your eye goes to the lightest light and the darkest dark. So if you darken something up under there, just as an example, right? So if you're saying it's a little bit darker under here, then this part of the flower shows up. You see, you know, that's an interesting thing. So when you're doing something, somebody sent me in a painting today and um, they had a, they were painting a lemon in a vase and the lemon was the lightest brightest thing on it next to something really dark and the rule is your eyes go first to the lightest light and the darkest dark so you want to make sure that it, that you take a black and white photo of your picture and make sure that you've got you directed your eye to where you want them to to be to, to see it does that make sense maybe even make this a little darker right in here a little bit of darker um, green what is the difference between australian sienna and burnt sienna Oh, Australian sienna is, uh, burnt sienna is a reddish brown color, okay, like the color of a red dog, and Australian sienna is a gold, very soft, um, transparent color, it's really pretty, it's closer to azo gold and golden paint makes something similar called azo gold, it's what I would call a translucent color, okay, so that's, that's what that is, and here's a little bit of color supplies, Pure the yellow somewhere. Given out, the word of the day will be yellow. Will be yellow. All right, that's the word of the day. Will be yellow. Okay, so we're going to put this away now. Okay, and I'm going to. You somebody said, what is the difference between um, mixing white and um, not mixing white, but um, titanium white in in the in the flow and in this hot heavy body? So here's some titanium white. Okay, and I'll mix the brush. And here's some of that fluid titanium white. It's slightly more translucent if you zoom in on that. Can you see that, John? One second. It's not as opaque. Because it's just not as thick. Because it's not as thick, so it's not as opaque. So could you, would you, if you dried it and put it on a couple times, I'm sure that would be okay. But it's it's not. See, it's not as op opaque. Where so you can put a chunk of this on. It and it just covers it up. And that's the difference between a professional acrylics and student grade too. So what you want if you're a yeah, if you if your budget only allows for student grade paint and you're not buying Liquitex heavy body, Matisse, or Golden, you at least get the white in that. Hmm. So Good idea. Good idea, right? So now I've got three things of white. Well, all right, so what we're talking, I'm gonna paint us something. I'm not sure what right now. <laughs> Now you've got that lovely start. Now I've got that lovely start, and I have no idea what I'm going to paint you guys, but maybe I can figure find something for a, a reference. Um, I don't know. Give me another thing. I can't come. I have nothing with this. This doesn't help me at all. I, I have to have something else. I can't quite do that. You like oh. something inspirational? Yeah, oh, I like that. Look at that. See, isn't that pretty? That's nice. I like that. It's something inspirational. That is great. All right, so you asked, right? It's one of my this, finer pieces. This John did this background for me. Don't you love that? Let's do another one of these flowers on here, and we'll give this away. How's that? Okay. All right, so the contest is open, and yellow is the secret word. And if you're watching this later, like tomorrow, it's just for the people who were so kind to uh, come play with us on our live show, right? Right. So that's how this is working, guys. I'm sorry. If it uh, seems we unfair. We will another week long one later. One we put up for the people that watch later. Yeah, we can do that. We can. We can do whatever we want. We can do, it well, do, probably, yeah, we'll do that maybe uh, th th when we do this lesson here. We'll have a we'll have a giveaway for everybody, okay? When we do this lesson. But right now we're just doing this one. How's that? Okay? Sounds like a plan, right? Sounds like a plan. All right, so let's take a little bit of yellow and uh, come in here like that. Come right over the white. Put this flower in. Do you remember the name of the artist for tomorrow? 
Oh, no, I have to look it up. Oh, I looked it up and put it in It's not tomorrow, is it? It's anyway, it's Friday. Well, whatever. Um, so speaking of tomorrow, what is the what is the lesson for our members for this week, for this Thursday? Oh, you know, that is a good question, and I bet I have an answer for that. I bet you do. Was it the um, the bridge? Is it the bridge? I think it's the bridge, isn't it? I, when, when's my leopard going to be done? When, well, Did I don't know. The leopard's going to take more editing than you've got. Do the bridge. Do the bridge. And then we'll do the leopard next week because you don't have you're, you're still fooling with equipment, right? Oh, bridge, 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 bridge is being varnished. Okay. So you can see how nicely this. You are you show the bridge. I showed it yesterday. You showed it today. No, I didn't show it today. I showed it yesterday. Do not have the bridge. I have wow. no bridge. What you do with it? Is it over here? I'm thinking. Yeah, all right. Oh, Incidentally, did you guys do the pairs from last week? If you haven't done these pairs, these are great. This is on YouTube, right? You need to do the pairs. Yeah. Well, we could do sit. We could do honey. Can, can you? Can you? Well, we can't do honey. We can do. We're gonna do the bridge. But this will be coming up. This is my Luna, Luna, and uh, and and Trixie. That's us, my granddaughter, and that will be coming up later on our website too. Later, we're doing that one later. Okay. Just saying, right? He's looking for the bridge. Where did you you picked everything up? Oh, this is, yeah, we did yesterday. And we did show it yesterday, but I think if you if our members this, want to yeah, know what we're doing, this is the one we're doing this week. This is what we're doing this week for the um for the website. This one, I love this picture, don't you? Just it's just all sort of fantasy. It's it's really it's a fantasy landscape, and everything's all in purples with this cool green bridge and pond, Monet style pond. I think that is so cool. So that's what we're doing. Hope everybody's having fun entering this. Doesn't matter where you live, we are going to send it to you. I like the purple background. Don't you guys like the purple background? Isn't that pretty? Just saying. Um, purple and yellow are compliments. That's why you like it, in case you're wondering. We had a donation come in while I was running around. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was so nice. You look so lovely. I'm sending you hugs and just saying, love you loads. Thank you so much. That was from Denise. Oh, Denise, thank you, Denise, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That is so Can you lovely. Make burnt umber from burnt sienna. No. That's well, maybe. Um, you could add. Oh, donations I think if I wanted burnt umber, I would use. You want to make burnt umber? Use gauzine purple and cad red medium. Gauzine purple. purple. Gauzine purple and cad red medium. Oh, that's how we do it. Yeah, that's a good one. You know. All right, we had a couple of donations come in from PayPal. Oh, thank you so much, you guys. Uh, Debbie. Oh, Debbie, thank that's you very awesome. Thank for that donation. I think that guy's paid a bill. Okay, we thank you very much for that. And, um, yep, thank you for reminding me to look there. So, um, I think we'll put one of those things up here. Let's do that. Uh, let's see, I'm out of yellow paint. The only of the things that happens when you're painting is you end up out of a certain color. You get lazy and you don't put it back out, but you get down to the end and you say, well, I'm almost done. I don't no sense I'm needing this color, but you do need the color, and so you, you need to put it back. So here we're going to put one of these little um, pods this way, I think. That's kind of pretty. The um, brush I use for that background is that big wide one of cinnamons. Or is it cinnamons? I, we got it in one of our kits. They ask what brush I use. Oh yeah, show them what brush you use. It's pretty. It's a pretty brush. It's not purple. Um, just it. Yeah, diazine purple just stains everything. Yeah, diazine purple is a really strong color. This is the one that uh, he used for that background. Maybe that's the background. He likes, John really likes this little brush. It's one of Cinnamon's, uh, one of the Art Sherpa brushes. It's very nice. I like it. So she she did good on the brush stuff, you know. She, she also has some of the ruby satin silvers. But anything, even if you go on the brush guys, even if you go on her, you can go on my teacher page or her teacher page. You can use my code and still get use ginger. I started to tell you this. Use ginger cook, L one word, and you get a five percent discount for the brush guys, which I think is nice. I I do that too. I like my discount. Okay. So there you go. There's this little. When does the purple and lilac painting go up on the members website? Is that the bridge? The bridge, the one we just did? Sometime this week we're hoping. Hoping, yeah. We're, it should be, you know, if usually we try to get them. Sometimes this week. Sometimes this widge, the, w widge, sometimes this, 
Uh -huh. What was that word you said? Sometimes it's wedge. This week. Yeah, sometimes it's wedge. Sometimes it's week. We'll we'll do that. No, this wedge. Uh, sometimes it's wedge. I don't know. Just wedge. <laughs> so, all right. Um, another one. Oh, here was. I was watching one of Ginger's videos last night, and someone asked if Ginger would consider a retreat, and she said yes. Is this still something being considered? Yeah, but not the second. <laughs> I'm considering it, but you know. You're not thinking about it right now? I, I, let me tell you my example of consider, okay? This is pretty, isn't it? By the way, I'm kind of liking this with the purple, isn't it? Nice? Something like this would make a very nice, you did this on a greeting card, you know. Uh, Strathmore, if you go to the art store, they have these cards you can buy with envelopes, and they're designed to be painted on. And just something like this would make a great, you know, kind of greeting card, wouldn't it? Maybe Mother's Day, wouldn't it be pretty? Something like that, so that's kind of pretty, right? Oh, just had another donation come in. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Art. Love your tutorials. Um, so, uh, here's my thing about consider. A centipede was happy quite, and tell a frog in fun said, Pray, which leg comes after which? Which set his mind in such a pitch, he lay distracted in a ditch, considering how to run. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, what's I'm the considering, answer? I'm considering how to run. I'm distracted in a ditch, considering how I might You're pull something like that, how I might pull something off. Besides, it's a great poem. Where else would I get to tell everybody? My, <laughs> listen, I didn't spend all those years at summer camp for nothing, man. <laughs> right? Best treasures are 10-minute painting that she won. Um, you know, so there you go. I mean, I, how are we doing on our entries over there? How are we doing? We're all we're almost done here, John. So we just um, we're only at 195. How many people we got on tonight? I don't know. We I I didn't think we we'd have a lot. No, we have 400 people out there. Really? Nobody else wants to win this? I guess well, not. Maybe some people are on phones and can't. Well, then they have to go for the week long one. When we do all right, that. we'll do it next week. We're sorry about that, right? <laughs> we're do, we are right. Well, people are technically challenged. We are for sure. I don't get this whole sound thing. We don't understand the sound thing. It's a mystery. It's it's you John know, John, is, John said before the show started, we're possessed. You know? well, see, that was in the instant live. We're gonna do another instant live sometime and just test it and see what happens. Yeah, and we'll just do some sort of, you know, fly on the wall thing. Yeah, because you know? this is just ridiculous. I mean it is kinda of crazy. I mean it is crazy. Not kinda of crazy. It is absolutely definitely crazy. Here's some of that fluid white and we'll see how that does. Secret word is yellow. Secret word is yellow. Uh, Miss Brooke did her in, in, entry on the phone. So the phones work. I think the TVs don't work. I don't know how you do it on television. I think it's neat you can watch any of this stuff on TV. You know, I still remember, you know, it's funny, but we have a group of people, and those of you who are younger than this and don't get it, we're sorry, but we like to talk about how it used to be, right? I still, remember the, I still remember the ice, the, uh, I'm old enough to remember the ice man coming to our house, house with a block of ice, and our ice box was called that, an ice box, because there was a block of ice one in it to keep everything cold, and there was a guy that came by to sharpen knives, and... Oh, uh, we'd like to thank Miss Gretchen for the donation, with no thank words you. of wisdom. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so nice. And um, anyway, we had, like I say, we had a, um, we had a, um, you know, a, a, a knife sharpener guy came by, and the, the guy that brought the ice could take his teeth out. When you're, you know, and that was cool. When <laughs> that you were when you, you know, when you're four, or three or four, that's just amazing, right? And then the other thing he would do is he would bring, he would bring my sister and I a big block of ice, and we'd sit it on this marble bench in the backyard in the summertime and we'd sit there on either side of this big block of ice like that and um, and look at that, that was cheap entertainment you know <laughs> just cheap wait, entertainment wait, wait we have a great comment here what's that from Sue Ginger you look fabulous and John you and the white beard and the hair is really handsome oh thank that's you that's one Sue. thing we got going for us what our hair right it's our hair we got nothing else yeah we thank you very much we thank you very very much for that let me check the PayPal donations again um, we can do that. I can do that. And, uh, all right, I think we're just going to call this done here. I think it's kind of nice. I think this is just sort of a nice, um, like um, you, you know, um, Let's go back to our room. Little thing here for, you know, a little painting here for all our right, we've got 200 people out of the 400. I guess nobody wants this painting. Not a problem. All right, so we've got, um, we're going to, uh, We had a donut and a milkman. We only had a milkman. 
Well, we had a milkman too. Oh, yeah, remember, yeah. you had the cream that was settled on the top of the milk. Remember that? The heavy cream was always on the top of the milk. The bottle. They came with you know bottles, and guy came around sharpened knives. And uh, oh, let's see. I'm just trying to remember. And when I was a kid, you know, when I was a kid um, living in downtown Seattle, just just below. If those of you are familiar with the art museum, just below the art museum, and you know, you think about how you're influenced in life as a kid. Our 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 governors would take my sister and I. Uh, we'd walk th from our backyard. We were right up to uh, Volunteer Park. Was the name of the park, and we would walk from the back of the house, which we didn't have that big a backyard. It's kind of shoebox shape, but we would go up some steps and then up a hill and then wind around, end up in about 15 minute walk to the actual art museum. And they had these giant stone life-size lions on big marble blocks, and we would climb on the lions and the camels. Now they've got them. They, you still can see those in Seattle, but uh, no one's allowed to climb on them anymore. They're under glass. Apparently too many kids were climbing and licking them or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, and then we went into the museum and we'd look at all the paintings. And that's, you know, someone says, how did you become an artist? I became an artist from going to the, that art museum every Saturday. We went to the art museum and then they had like a movie. You know, like an old, fun, fun, like a, would be kind of a Discovery Channel kind of movie. You know, not like a real movie, but, you know. Something, something, something about art, something like that, some sort of educational film. My sister and I were very excited. We didn't have a television. This was great stuff. All right, so I'm going to sign my name here like this. So at least it's officially done. No more brushes can go That's to it. That's it. It's officially done. I hope somebody likes this for a little 10 minute painting challenge. Now, also, again, if we pick your name and you don't want it, we won't feel bad. We'll just pick another name. Just let us know. There you go. There's the red slash through there, and it's a little bit of... I knew it! I just want a little color surprise in here, you know what I mean? You just, just pick up a brush and you go crazy. Well, well, remember when doctors made house calls? Oh yeah, they did. They made house calls, and um, yeah. Alright, we're going to be closing the entry form. We're at 212. 438 people watching. Thank you very much. I thought this was fun. And uh, you can see this is, look at all the pretty colors we have on our palette. We've got the orange and the green and the reds. And, you know, just very nice, isn't it? It's great. You know, beautiful colors and it's fun to do. And I like this afternoon time. Thank you for guys coming. And if you're liking this time, you know, of course, we'll be back next Sunday at 2.30. But the following week, it will be back to Tuesday. Again. Back to Tuesday. Tuesday again. Well, not that Tuesday, but you know, we'll do Sunday, we'll do Sunday, Monday, and then the week after we'll do Monday, Tuesday. Okay? Not just to, so just look at look at the right. schedule. We have a schedule on our website. You, I mean on the YouTube channel. You can see yeah, when we we're gotta, gonna be on. So you don't have to it. write it down. Just if you if just you subscribe. And then hit that little bell thing and you'll be told whenever we're live. And hopefully we'll be able to come back up uh, on uh, Friday and do that other painting that I showed you, which is around here somewhere. Ha huh, here. Painting. This this one here. We're gonna we're gonna actually learn to paint this. Just start with a blue background, right? We're gonna paint that one, and I'll give you the name of the old dead artist. Okay, I'll look him up again. All right. So we're gonna do the giveaway. Yep. What's the All numbers right. between between one and what? I gotta close the door. All right. Then I gotta pick a number. Records. Pick a number between one and 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 is working working. We got a lot of last entries just snuck in there at the end. One two hundred fifteen. All right, ask Alexa. Alexa, uh, Alexa. Well, ask Alexa to pick it. I need a number between one and two hundred fifteen. Your random number between one and two hundred fifteen is thirty-eight. Ooh. You thirty-eight. Number thirty-eight. Wow. Thirty-eight. You're the winner. Come awesome. on down. Awesome. Just use the contact us form too, and give us your address. We'll mail this to you next week. Not this week, but next next week. Debbie Johnson. Debbie Johnson. All right. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Debbie awesome. Debbie Johnson. Sorry. Right, here's the um. Here's our final um. Oh, did I get this? Did I? I didn't read my birthday cards. Did I? No. I got to show you this before we go. You guys have got to see this. Tanya sent me for my birthday this shirt. You got to got to see what it says. It says um, it's art teacher, helpful, creative, regular caffeine. Here, I'm gonna just show you up here. Art teacher. Kind of hold it up over your face. Here, can you guys see it like <laughs> That's that? Better. Yeah. Perfect. Like that. This is isn't this? Thank you, Tanya, for this shirt. 
All right. This Can't is wait awesome. to get paint all over it. Yeah, this is great because you know I like to wear t-shirts on the show and I'm, you know, just because we're going to get paint on it. And then I want to say thank you. Robin sent me this hand-painted card. Look at this, you guys. And then she wrote happy birthday on a hand-painted card from Robin. So thank you very much. And we got a nice birthday card from um, Sonia. That was Sonia. It came with the shirt. Thank you. And this is my friend Tina DeLucky. Um, used to be my neighbor for years. She sent me this neat little happy birthday card uh, for Tina and Bob. So thanks very much, you guys, for that. So those were our... Uh, just wanted to just give a shout out for that. Thanks. And I think that's it. So congratulations. Anybody have last questions before we go? Uh, I don't have any questions. Oh, we had a question. Are you going to quit doing Sundays? No, we just, uh, you, you know, we just this have some. Schedule. This is just how we're doing our schedule. We're going to try to keep, for the most part, Sunday afternoons. Like next week, it'll be Sunday afternoon. Uh, because I know that's the time that's most convenient for people. We'll try to do that. And, um... But, you know, when we can't do a Sunday for things come up, you know, in our schedule that doesn't allow us to do Sundays, then we'll try to catch it during the week, okay? And in any event, we'll always be putting up something on YouTube for you guys, even if we're not live. For some reason, we weren't live while we're still living, but you know what I'm saying, right? Ha! It's going to be zombies. Yeah, zombies. and uh, Oh, we should do a zombie day, but that's all right. So, <laughs> just do a zombie day. Anyway, and may, you know, who knows, you know, maybe one day we'll do some weird thing like at 2 in the morning. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, I would love to do that. I'm always up at that. Let's, let's do a 2 in the morning thing sometime, some sort of weird live show, 2 in the morning. So that would help the people somewhere. Somewhere. Well, there's, it's daylight somewhere. We talked about that. So, yeah, you guys, thanks for hanging in with us. And um, congratulations to our winner, Ms. Johnson. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys en enjoyed our tutorial today and don't forget to subscribe and oh if, if you haven't joined our facebook club ginger cook acrylic art club on facebook uh, that's the place to be that is do you want to say anything more about that because we are almost at the limit well we're over three thousand now we said we we're going to close it off at four so it doesn't become unwieldy and then after that we'll just be the only ones we'll add after that will be members that add that new members to the academy. Of course, all academy members can you know want to we'll join. Be can to join. We'll invited to join. But as after that, so what, as long as you're an active member of the art academy, you'll still be in. But we're we we wanted to make it so that you get to know the people that are there that are posting. You get you know you, you people get to know you. Um, I always like that show Cheers. You know that show Cheers that they used to go to that place the bar because everybody knows your name. Remember that song. But it's a nice place. A club is really, it, it, a, the, the purpose of a club is that it's sort of some intimacy. So people can know it. I'll look at your artwork and comment too. You know, you want, you, you want, to, you want your, your artwork to be out there and let people see what you're doing. And it's very encouraging. You know, lots of great tips on, um, on your artwork. If you have questions about uh, varnish or some weird thing you found. The ten people will answer you and tell you what they think. Well, what do you guys think about this? Or what do you think about that? Or maybe some weird pain I've never heard of. Someone will tell you what they think. Anyway, it's a good place to get erroneous information. How's that? Ha <laughs> ha! What kind of information? Erroneous. That's not good information. Isn't erroneous mean wrong or... Yes, that's error, what I just said. Or Phil? <laughs> so you're saying our group is a bunch of liars? No, you, but everybody... Well, that's what you just <laughs> said! Just, no, I'm just saying that... A lot of times people, I'm not saying that all the information you get is absolutely gospel truth, but people believe it when they tell you. So you've It's got to on take the it internet. In. It's got to be true. <laughs> well, there you go. So, all right. We're done. Night. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.